What's up guys, welcome to the vlog and um, in this one I am just kind of giving you a little bit of a tour I guess of my office but also answering some questions in, that I've kind of asked in like my other YouTube channel and I think I asked like on social media and stuff too but that way you know for some of you want to know a little bit more about me a few other things or whatever then that hopefully will answer some stuff but we'll get to a little bit of tour stuff of the office area and then also some viewer questions and stuff. So this is my basement in the house. This area down here is like my little entertainment kind of area slash there's like a bunch of video equipment and a treadmill and all that kind of fun stuff. So uh, this is sometimes where I come occasionally to play video games. I don't play video games a whole lot though, sadly anymore. Um, but this is where I kind of can come to hang out and play some video game action and all that kind of fun stuff. But in here is the office in there and I got it. Got awesome UFC championship belt over there. I got a cool Superman guitar hanging up and then my little on-air thing, but I'll take you guys in here and I'll show you guys a little bit around inside there. So when you first walk in, I got right back here. I used to have this in another room. There was a video on my Crystal Chaos channel that I showed this off in, but uh, a lot of the different kind of stuff going on here with my old army uniform, some plaques and all that kind of fun stuff, kind of my fun little army memorabilia wall and I even got like a little shadow box that has the very last patches that I ever wore on my uniform. When I got out of the army, the last uniform that I was wearing when I got out of the army, I took the patches off of it, saved them off to the side and then later put them inside this little shadow box to remember that these were the ones that were on my uniform for the very last time when I was in the army. And then like some little miscellaneous stuff. I got like a, a hat signed by Rudy Giuliani when I was in Korea. Some other hats that I wear sometimes in my videos and stuff and just some little random. I think I got these guys from like a, a dollar store or something crazy like that. I don't remember. And then back over here is just a lot of clutter kind of in a way. I got I like I like skulls. If you didn't know that already, I, I got skulls. I got I won an independent award from the newspaper here. It's just kind of a fluke thing. Maybe another story for how I ended up with that thing. But for third place for, I think it was third place, right? I think it was third. I think, I think so. Third place for like best Twitter in Colorado Springs. It's a fluke thing, but don't worry about it. <laughs> but yeah, a lot, of, a lot of miscellaneous stuff over here. Cool rock star little lamp thing that lights up. I do like to kind of motivate myself and I'll post out uh, some of my like uh, subscriber milestones on this little thing right here and print it off and just throw it inside there. Just kind of motivates me to, you know, keep going, keep grinding and stuff like that to kind of see where the last milestone was. I actually need to update it because that's actually 35,000 subscribers for the Christopher Chaos channel now. But uh, I like to kind of have that in there just to kind of, you know, motivate me to, to strive harder and keep pushing. There's an area over here that I can't show you because that's my video idea, so I have to bypass that and hopefully not have to do some extra post work and blur that out. But it's got all my video ideas and uh, for like kind of like what to do on the Christopher Chaos channel, and then when I you know add new stuff to it or do one of these video ideas, then I you know erase it off the whiteboard and stuff. But then I got some you know chaos little banners kind of things up here up on the wall, and then. You might see these sometimes in some of my videos. You can kind of see part of it, but my little memorabilia kind of shelf over here. It's got a lot of uh, different stuff. My coins, some you know money from foreign countries, some uh, pogs from currency, all sorts of different little army memorabilia, including like my basic training photo from the group one, and then even the VHS that I did a video on on the Christopher Chaos channel where I showed my my basic training. And then of course the giant U.S. flag and my awesome computer area here over here. I got the the lights, I got the camera over there, I got some sound dampening stuff over there. It doesn't do a whole lot of sound dampening, but it looks pretty cool, so <laughs> I like that. And then lights all over the place and all that kind of fun stuff. This desk actually does convert to a standing desk. Um, when I'm shooting video, it actually goes into the up position because the camera over here is mounted uh, on the back of the desk. So when it comes to the up position, then the camera is kind of level with me and that's kind of how I use it for shooting video. And then I also do the live streams from here. I got the Yeti mic right there that I use for doing the live streams and all that fun stuff. I got a uh, Stream Deck little uh, kind of switches to switch different scenes and stuff like that. I haven't been using it lately, but I need to reprogram it and start using that guy. And then the actual computer over there. Uh, I'll get a little bit of the specs because I have been asked about like a computer build kind of video type of thing. A um, little bit of specs. I think it's got, I don't even remember now, it's been, it was built back in uh, 2016. Um, a friend of mine helped me build it, or he mostly did all the work, but um, it's got a GTX, uh, what was it, uh, 980? It's a little bit older. I think it's got like, uh, I think I have 32 gigs of RAM in there. I've got uh, AMD processor. Uh, I don't know. This, like, this is not a very good spec video. I don't know. 
I don't know, maybe one day I'll, I'll leave it like in a, in a blog post or something down on CRISPRchaos.com or something like that. Actually, there is one, I think. On If you go find it through CRISPRchaos.com, I think there's a blog post of, uh, of the computer being built with pictures and everything like that. And if you really want to know everything that's inside this computer, that's probably the best place to go. You can get a whole list, I think, of parts that I think are included inside of it. I also have like another laptop like right over here and stuff. I don't really use it a whole lot. It just kind of looks cool to make it look like a big cool command center, but usually that's the laptop I'll take with me traveling. If I go somewhere, I'll unplug it and take it with me and stuff. But uh, this is an extra one there. Sometimes I'll use it during live streams to have the live stream up on there to make sure that it's still streaming and stuff. But for the most part, it just, just kind of to look cool, to look more techy. So yeah, that's kind of the gist of my little office area here when I'm shooting videos you have kind of like an angle like this because it's from the from the desk over here. But um, let's get into, I guess, some of those questions that people asked me over on Christopher Chaos and social media and all that fun stuff. Let's dive into this. Let's check out some of the uh, the questions that has sent to me. This one's from Terry Cook. When you were in the Army, what was your MOS? I'm currently in the process of joining the Army as 11 Bravo infantrymen and ship out to Fort Benning in June. Any tips for Fort Benning? Um, so I was an 88 Mike, if you're not familiar with uh, my MOS. So I did transportation as a truck driver. Um, that was my MOS. Um, as far as Fort Benning, I mean, I went to Fort Benning back in 1999. So Fort Benning is not the same Fort Benning back then. Uh, it does get hot and humid and everything. I went in the summertime, but um, otherwise I don't have any great tips for Fort Benning because Fort Benning isn't the same as when I went to Fort Benning. All right, this one's from uh, Fallout Ghoul. Uh, do you play any kind of video games? And if so, what system? Primarily, um, if I do play video games, not a whole lot, not as much as I would like to, but it's usually either on the PlayStation 4 or on the PC. Um, and then I like on PlayStation 4, I haven't played it in a while, but I was playing Red Dead Redemption 2. Uh, I need to get back to that. I, I didn't get very far on it. Um, and then uh, on PC, um, I'll occasionally do that for like live streams, but when I'm not live streaming, I like playing uh, No Man's Sky. I also do it on the PlayStation 4 as well, but uh, it's kind of fun playing it on the computer desk. All right, this one's from, uh, was it Green Knight 490? Uh, what state do you live in now and what got you to stay there? Uh, so I currently live in Colorado. I live in Colorado Springs. And uh, the reason why I like staying here is that it's like the area. I like the fact that um, no matter what it is you're into, whether it be sporting events or outdoors or indoors or shopping or whatever, it's in the area within at least a 45 minute drive or less. Um, because you have Denver that's only a 45 minute drive. So any sporting event you can go see there, whether it's basketball, football, hockey, whatever. Um, and then a lot of outdoor activities for hiking and doing things around here. Indoors, a lot of shopping stuff. You have stuff in Colorado Springs, Castle Rock, Denver, all that stuff. Um, and if you don't want to like the mountains, you want a little bit more deserty, well then you drive about 30 minutes down south and you have Pueblo. Not the greatest city, but <laughs> there's there's still some stuff to do there and there's some desert environment in there if you want to get a little bit more of a desert environment kind of thing. But that's the reason why I like to stay here is just the availability of things to do and that's even why it ended up ranking pretty high in my video for uh, top places to be uh, stationed in the army. All right, Nathaniel asks, uh, what prompted you to join the armed forces and why the army? Uh, mainly it was because I didn't really have a plan for like going to college. Uh, my parents didn't really have the money to send me to college and I definitely didn't have like great grades. I had like average grades, but they weren't the type of grades to get you like a scholarship or anything like that. Um, I didn't really know the process of like getting grants and everything like that um, at that time. So I figured the military was the best way to do it. Spend about four years in the military and then, uh, you know, go to college. Obviously four years turned into 10, but <laughs> you know, that was the plan originally. And um, specifically, uh, why the army? Uh, it was really just, I didn't really know. I didn't really research it too well. I wanted to be originally a mechanic. The army recruiter was a little bit more persistent than the air force. I was gonna try to join the air force. Um, but uh, I wasn't getting a lot of information from the Air Force recruiter at that time, and the Army recruiter was, you know, bugging me a lot, so I was like, yeah, why not? I'll join the Army. So I ended up joining the Army. Cam asks, how long did you serve in the Army? Well, I just said that uh, just a second ago, but 10 years. I did a little, actually a little over 10 years. It was like 10 years and I think seven months or something like that. Um, so that was how long I stayed in for. This question is a common one that I've been asked a lot. What was your rank when you left the Army? If you didn't notice from my uniform earlier, I was, I was a sergeant when I got out. I could have been a staff sergeant, but the points were super high around the time frame when I was looking to get out of the army. Um, so I pretty much needed some civilian education to be able to make it to staff sergeant. I had done everything. I had gone to the board. I had gone to the schools and everything like that. The only thing I needed was the points and the points were super, super high at that point in time for 88 Mike for staff sergeant. And I basically needed like an associate's degree to be able to do so. 
I did not have that and have time to, to really do a lot of college stuff when I was in the Army. So uh, I got out as a technically, I guess, an E5 promotable. Brian asks, was it hard serving with glasses? Um, no, not really. I mean, some of the things would be kind of a pain, like putting on the pro mask, um, a few other things. Sometimes, you know, you're doing certain things physically and the glasses are there. But I, I've, I've worn glasses since I was like in, I think, the first grade, second grade or something like that. So I'm pretty used to wearing glasses. So it was not too bad, really. So Jacob asking, uh, how do you like it in Colorado Springs and how is the weather there year round? Uh, weather can be pretty crazy sometimes. Uh, I like it being in the springs though, but the weather, yeah, sometimes it'll be nice and sunny and then all of a sudden it'll start snowing and then uh, maybe an hour later it's nice and sunny again. It's it's a little weird. Uh, people say it's bipolar. A lot of people say that, you know, if you don't like the weather in Colorado Springs or even Colorado for that matter, I guess, just wait 10 minutes because sometimes it changes. So the weather can be kind of crazy. It can be pretty hot in the summertime, not super hot compared to certain states in the United States, but um, I mean, it'll get like in the 80s, 90s, once in a great while, maybe 100, but that that's pretty rare. I feel like um, most commonly it'll be in the 80s or 90s in the summertime. Um, and then uh, in the winter times, it can get pretty cold too. In the winter times, you can get like negatives or lows or whatever, and then some snow, of course. What is my average day like? Uh, well, that'll probably be coming up for a video. I might do a video on what is my average day, but get up in the morning, go to work, uh, after work, try to get in some video time to do some stuff with YouTube. That's after dinner though and a little bit of family time and then go to bed. But I'll get a little bit more in depth with that probably with a vlog video here at some point. What made you get out of the army? Mainly, um, I just wanted to change. I didn't intend in staying in the army for as long as I did. Um, but I, I just wanted a change in lifestyle. Um, at that point they were deploying a lot. So it was like pretty much every other year you were going on a deployment. Um, I went to two deployments and it was on track for several more. Had I stayed in the army, my unit was getting ready to go to Afghanistan and I would have gone with them to Afghanistan. I would have made a third deployment and who knows how many more after that. And uh, it's chilled out now. It's not quite as crazy as that as it was back then with every other year. But um, it, I, I didn't know what it was going to be like and I didn't want to have to deploy every other year and live that lifestyle. And I just wanted to change. So I ended up getting out and uh, getting a really great civilian job and then having a great time doing YouTube videos as well. What are the top three things on your bucket list now that the baton is done? Ooh, I don't know. Like, um, I want to get in a lot better shape. Um, I, I wouldn't mind doing the baton again next year. But as far as bucket list stuff, I don't know. I would like to maybe do Pikes Peak. There's a mountain here. I would like to climb Pikes Peak probably. Um, get into great shape. Maybe the second one. Um, especially before my high school reunion that I have coming up. I have my 20 year high school reunion this year. Um, I don't know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what my three ones. I think really the biggest one is I would like to at some point maybe try to do Pikes Peak. Maybe this year. We'll see. So there you go. That's kind of just a little kind of fun Q&A from questions from social media just to kind of get to know me a little bit more uh, personal stuff and well, some personal stuff, not super personal, but <laughs> a little bit more about me and my experience in the military and just personal stuff of what I like to do, I guess. Um, but yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this one. We'll end the vlog here, and uh, see you guys next time. See ya. Hoo!